Vardhanarishvara. This is all the result of God's blessing. What's the large painting behind the bar? When Lord Indra sent the devastating rains on Gokula, Lord Krishna raised Gobadon Mountain on the tip of his little finger like a giant umbrella. All the people and animals of Gokula sought shelter under Krishna's giant umbrella and worshipped him, just as those rains brought havoc to Gokula. So droughts have often brought havoc to Mithra. It was during such a drought in the 1960s that Bhaskar Kulkarni arrived and began buying Mithra paintings. And when my son and I first came to Delhi, Sita Devi and her son Surya Dev soon became international travelers. In 1976, they visited East Germany and America. Shortly after their return to Jitwarpur, Sita Devi was heard to say, After I die, I may go to heaven. But my goodness, America is heaven. And I have come back to Jitwarpur to talk about America. When asked to describe what most impressed her about America, Sita Devi first showed her picture of New York City's World Trade Center and another picture of her riding in an elevator with a New Yorker. Another painting Sita Devi made in America was of Arlington National Cemetery. Coming from one of the most densely populated land-poor regions of the world, Sita Devi was impressed by how much land was covered by the cemetery. She was also impressed that information about each person in Arlington Cemetery was recorded on a separate headstone. The trip that impressed Sita Devi most was not her visit to America, but her visit to the home of India's then Prime Minister, Indira Gandhi. She asked me to come and sent her social secretary to the hotel with a car to bring Surya Dev and me to her residence. Then Mrs. Gandhi asked me to do a painting and I had only two colors with me, red and green, some paper, and a matchstick I use as a brush. While I worked, Mrs. Gandhi and her son Rajiv Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi watched. And what painting did you make? I painted the powerful goddess Durga. She's one of my favorites. I often paint her. Then Mrs. Gandhi asked me to color the painting. When I had finished, she asked what I wanted to do with the painting. I said I wanted to give it to her. Indeed, I ended up giving my painting of the powerful goddess Durga to another powerful Durga. Another important picture of the powerful goddess Durga was painted by Sita Devi and her son Surya Dev on the walls of the permanent village exhibit complex in New Delhi. Since the paints they use are impermanent indigenous colors, they wash away in the rain. Sita Devi and Surya Dev retouch the wall paintings each time they are in New Delhi. It looks like a village house. Yes, it does. And what is this picture? It's a picture of Durga. And what's on this side? It's the goddess Lakshmi. And there, on that wall? There's the whole family of Shiva. Shiva himself with his matted hair, uh, his bull, and his elephant-headed son. Ganesh. What picture is that? That is the demon Ravan in the Ramayan capturing the goddess Sita. That's a picture of an elephant in which each part of the elephant is a gopi milkmaid. And that's a picture of Lord Krishna dancing with the gopi milkmaids in such a way that each one felt he danced only with her. And here is another painting of Krishna dancing with the gopi milkmaid. This one, however, was not painted by Sita Devi. It was painted by Ganga Devi using her usual line painting, a style of painting more characteristic of women of the Kayas castes than women of other castes. Ganga Devi, perhaps the most renowned and respected of all Mithila painters, is also the most religious. She is the only major painter to have taken initiation from a Boisnab guru. Today, it's hard to appreciate how desperately poor Ganga Devi was before she began painting.
Gunga Devi had a happy childhood, which she has recalled in an autobiographical painting. When I was a child, I used to play with my girl doll. In fact, I painted two Kovar marriage wall designs on the wall for my girl doll. I learned to do all the pictures associated with a wedding, the Kovar marriage wall design, the bamboo god, the tantric lady. I became skilled at making clay lamps, horses, and elephants. First, my elder sister and I, and later, just I myself, came to be in great demand for making all the things associated with a wedding. Sometimes I'd spend up to six months preparing for a wedding. But when it was time for my own wedding, my luck ran out. I was no beauty queen, and that seemed more important than my skill or character. My family was quite prosperous, but that didn't help either. Finally, I was married. My brother had tried hard to get me a good husband, but he was not successful. When I went to my husband's village, I was pained to see the miserable condition of his household. It was hard to get even one full meal a day. Gunga Devi's poor nutrition hampered her ability to bear children. After seven years of marriage, she had borne only one child, a daughter, who had died after a few months. So her husband, following the local custom, made arrangements to marry a second wife. Gunga Devi fasted for a month on the banks of the Ganges River to prevent her husband's second marriage. When she failed, she went to her guru. He advised her to stay in the marriage as a co-wife and to take up painting. When her husband's second wife moved in, Gunga Devi was initially treated as a household servant. So within one year of starting to paint, she received the National Award for Master Craftsman. The income from her paintings brought her respect, and in time, her co-wife's son became her companion. One day, Gunga Devi